Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at a few differences between Shotcut, Olive and OpenShot and Kdn Live. We're starting with Shotcut. When you are zoomed in at the end of a timeline, then you can, as usual, resize the clip. But if you do that in Shotcut, then the sequence length changes as you drag. So this scroll bar also resizes. And if you drag past a certain point, it kind of just keeps dragging and you lose control. So this is really weird. Okay, okay, and then there's another issue, it doesn't resize properly when you drag it back. Okay, let's try in Olive. If we zoom in here and drag to the left, well, there's this weird black bar, but it doesn't resize this. The sequence length remains the same, which is uh, pleasant to me. You can kind of lose control when you get to the edges, but it seems more natural here. Let's continue with KDN Live. So when we zoom in to the end here and start resizing this, then nothing happens. You cannot uh, scroll with the resizing, which I find okay, but it also doesn't automatically move, which I find pleasant. There doesn't seem to be a bar that defines the width of a timeline of a sequence, so that is quite different from the other video editors. All right, off to open shot. If we start dragging and get to the edge, it's the same as in Canyon Life, uh, but there is a scroll bar at the bottom, but it doesn't resize. Okay, good. That's pretty good, in my opinion. Okay, it goes up to five minutes. Let's uh, extend this, or rather, let's put a clip here at the end and zoom in on that. Okay, open shot is uh, not responding. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait for that. Hey, at least it recovered. Okay, so zooming in while being at the end of uh, around 11 hours, that is really slow in sh open shot. Okay, let's try resizing it. Yeah, it works the same. The slowness issues are a different beast. Uh, and it crashed. Right, seems to be not exactly related to what I'm trying to test here though. Good auto recovery also. Okay, let's continue and now we're gonna take a look at specifically the extending past the edge of a world or the end of a sequence. So in Shotcut, and if I start dragging it now, I can drag past the edge, but only until the edge of the screen. I can't scroll more. All right, so this works okay and it seems to resize properly down here. The bar down here seems to properly resize. Okay, in Olive, when we scroll past the end, oh, it just extends. Okay, but I cannot for some reason scroll back to the left. That doesn't work in that case. So that's a bit annoying. Drag to the right. A uh, bit, bit too fast. Can, oh, and I can go back to the left. What? There seem to be weird edge cases when reaching the edge. Oh, okay, if I leave the window and then go back in with the cursor, then it doesn't work anymore. Interesting. Okay, off to KDN Live. So now if we drag this to the right, as I move my mouse outside of the window, it continues to drag the same as to the left. But this is limited by where my mouse can move. Probably limited by the screen edge as well. Continue to open shot. Let me just shorten this, zoom in a little more and start dragging. Yeah, it just continues onwards. Nothing happens to the scroll bar, just like in KDN Live kind of. So this is fine. Okay, another usability thing I want to compare is focus on the playhead, or sometimes you can call it obsession with playhead. Uh, what I mean by that is a strange thing in a shortcut. If you, let's say, have a lot of clips and uh, you delete one of them while the playhead is over there, let's zoom in on the last one, let's right click, what? And let's right click it, and for some reason we jump to the playhead. Delete it using the delete key, click it, delete key, we jump to the playhead. If we do this to this one, Oh, we also jump to a playhead, but this seems to be inconsistent. It doesn't always happen. Right click, we jump to a playhead. That is strange. And if we resize this, we jump to a playhead. If we zoom in and move a clip, okay, this is fine. What about this one? Move, jump to a playhead. Move again, nothing. Move this one, jump to a playhead. Seems to be kind of inconsistent. I personally don't like that. All right, let's try it out in Olive. Let's have multiple clips. Let's have a playhead over there. Let's zoom in on the middle one. Delete. Okay, nothing happens. Uh, right click, move, nothing happens. Let's delete this one. And we just jumped to this area, not to the playhead. Okay, on to Kidian Live. So the playhead stays here in the front. We're gonna zoom in over here. And let's move this clip. Nothing happens. Let's move that clip. Nothing happens. Let's delete that clip. Nothing happens. Let's delete that clip. Nothing happens. We don't even jump to the beginning. All right, so the playhead is very free-loving here. Onwards to open shot. Let's put the playhead in the beginning. Zoom in. And let's start by moving this one around. Nothing happens. Moving this one around. Nothing happens, as expected. Remove this one. Did I just remove two? Somehow I just removed two clips. Let's hit the delete key. Nothing happens. Let's hit the delete key. 
nothing happens. Yeah, so the static uh, duration of a sequence seems to affect that. So these are the different behaviors. I'm not sure which are intended and which are bugs, which are oversights, which are planned to be changed or maybe are already changed in the development versions of these softwares. But I just wanted to show some niche cases. Let me know if you have noticed other little details of differences between video editors or maybe something in a specific video editor that just seems a bit off. Comments are below and I hope to see you in the next video. Subscribe and enable notifications if you want to make sure that you don't miss it. Until next time, ciao!